The movie begins by showing a spaceship. The entire research team in the spaceship, all the passengers will wake up after 90 years of their sleep. The mission of this spaceship, was to take this whole team to a planet like the Earth. In which it still has to go through a journey of 90 years. Now, during such a long journey, the age of humans did not increase, so the whole team was kept in different types of machines, which are called sleeping chambers, in which all the people were sleeping in deep sleep. The job of these machines was to keep the human body safe for 90 years. Their sleep will also open only when they reach another planet. It was just moving forward that many asteroids came in front of it. That is, broken pieces of rocks, which now collide with the spaceship. But this spaceship was quite advanced and strong. Colliding with asteroids activates its repairing system, which, although there were some defects in the spaceship, but it fixes itself completely. By doing this, the ship stops and restarts the next moment. But due to this collision, the light of a passenger's sleeping chamber turned on. Meanwhile, his chamber broke. Machines started moving from his whole body. The spaceship had traveled for 30 years, and now he wakes up from his 30-year deep sleep. His name was Jim. He got up and moved on. Now, at first, he was feeling dizzy, but in a while, he becomes completely normal. Now Jim goes to the hall where, all the passengers had to gather after completing the journey, because there was going to be a meeting here. But obviously, he saw that there was no one in this hall. He starts looking for all the other passengers in the whole spaceship, but he does not find anyone there except himself. He started going to the control room for help, but his door was locked, because it could only be opened from the ID of the member of the control room, or from the head of the team. So now Jim gets the details of his location from the system. So that he can find out where the spaceship is at this time. Where he found out that he is 90 years away from his destination, that is, that planet. That is, 90 years ago, he has been activated from his sleeping chamber, he was very disappointed. He starts going from there, but then his eyes went in front of him. He felt that there was a human being there. So Jim started going that way, where he found out that he was not a human, but a humanoid robot. Now Jim found a tool there, with the help of which he tries to fix his sleeping chamber, but he fails in this thing. After this, Jim also tries to go to the control room. He tries to cut its door with the tools, but it was such a strong door, that it was impossible to do anything. Moving forward, Jim saw that the rest of the functions of the spaceship were also getting worse. But he ignored these things and went to the robot. He started saying that I feel like I'm stuck in this spaceship forever. No one will help me. I will die alone here. Hearing this, the robot says that these are the weaknesses of humans. They always want what they like and what they do not have. And you should be happy with what you have. These things affect Jim somewhere. So whatever was in the spaceship, he started taking advantage of them. He happily lives his life. There was a lot to do and play in the spaceship. Then Jim spends his time doing everything. Then his foot slipped and he fell down. Suddenly he looked at a sleeping chamber, in which a girl was lying inside. Her name is Aurora. Now when they were on the ground, Jim liked Aurora there. So now he used to spend his time watching her interview in the video. Now in his mind it comes that I also wake up Aurora from sleep before time. Now he knew that doing this is wrong. But in the end, he reached the decision that I will wake up Aurora from sleep. Now because his hair and shave had increased a lot, he starts cutting his hair. After which he comes to the chamber of Aurora with his toolbox. He gives current to the system of her chamber with a tool. By doing this, the chamber is damaged and opens. But before that, her eyes open, and she looks at Jim, he takes his toolbox and runs away. He hides all the tools somewhere. So that Aurora does not know that I have done this to her. After which Aurora woke up from her sleep and moved on. And now when the two faced each other, Aurora asks him where are the rest of the team. No one is visible. On this, Jim tells her that you're in my sleeping chamber is broken. She was also scared, so she goes there and sees where all the chambers were kept. She sees that Jim was right. Seeing this, Aurora gets out of control. Then Jim takes care of her. He started saying that you take rest now. We will do something about this tomorrow. The next day, it was shown that Aurora takes her food from the machine. Where the machine had given her a lot of different kinds of food. Because she was a gold class passenger. She always ate different things. Now when she found out that Jim has been eating the same kind of food for so many years, she also gives her food to Jim from her ID gold class. Now Aurora also tries to break the door of the control room. But she also can't do that. Seeing this, Aurora also feels that we are stuck here. So now she decides to write her book and complete it. After which Aurora asks him that is there anything to do here. On this, Jim says that yes, you can dance, 
You can play, there are many more things. These people choose dance or AI system teaches them to dance. With which they start enjoying. They danced a lot. Both were very happy. These people also travel in space. They used to enjoy a lot. And now slowly they become friends. It was shown that the spaceship now passes by a very big star. Which was very shiny, so it was looking very beautiful. Fires like sparks come out of it. Now the next day, Aurora, Jim, and the robot, all together celebrate Aurora's birthday. Here Jim wanted to gift her a ring, so that she can tell that I like you. But in the conversation, the robot says that Aurora, Jim has taken you out of the sleeping chamber. Not that you had a problem in your chamber. Knowing this, Aurora became very sad. She starts crying a lot, because the one she trusted the most, betrayed her. She got so angry with Jim that she stopped talking. She was so angry that one night when he was sleeping, Aurora comes to him and punches him a lot. Then she was going to kill him. But somehow she gets control over herself. The next day, Jim accepts that yes, I made a mistake. I woke you up from the sleeping chamber. Forgive me, because I had no other option. One year, because of being alone, I had gone crazy. But even now, Aurora does not listen to him. She starts shouting at him a lot. The next day, when he was in the lift, the lift stops due to a sudden malfunction. It stopped. So now Jim could not go out. So now with the help of his hands, he opens the lift and starts coming out. On the other hand, when Aurora also goes to get food from the machine, there was also a malfunction in the machine. Because it throws a lot of food on Aurora. Look at this, both of them did not understand what was happening. They were thinking about this when they heard the voice of a person. When they went to check, they saw that the head of their team also woke up from their sleeping chamber. The head also found out about the malfunction. So he opens the door of his RDC control room and goes inside. So that he can check what other malfunctions are there. But he could not find out anything. So these people decide that we will check the malfunctions in the spaceship ourselves. When the three of them move forward, a robot falls on them. But it fell on the ground and broke. Seeing this, the head tells them that this is the 15th robot that is damaged and broken. Now the head goes to Aurora's sleeping chamber and checks. He found out that it was damaged and opened by Jim. The head does not say anything to him. Because he also knew that a person can go crazy by being alone for a year. Now suddenly the head started getting sick. When he came to his room, he saw that blood was coming out of his mouth. Now one night, the light of the spaceship turns off its own. Because of which the gravity of this place was completely shut down. Gravity means something that keeps a person on the ground. And now by this, these people start flying in the air. Aurora, who was in the pool, was stuck in a large water bubble due to the power outage. She could not get out. So she was suffocating inside. Her condition was getting worse. But before that, her life would have gone. Now the ship restarts because the electricity had come back. As soon as this happens, Aurora also comes out of the pool. And Jim, who is flying, comes back to his bed. After this, they start seeing malfunctions in the AI system. He found out that there are a lot of problems in the ship. Now these people came to the power supply area, where there was full storage of electricity. But after coming here, the head also becomes unconscious. Now when his body was scanned completely, it was found that the head has 612 diseases, because of which his tissues are slowly running out. That is, he will die in some time. Knowing all this about himself, the head became very sad. He puts both of them next to him and says, listen to me, take care of each other after me and live with love. He also gives them his ID, so that they can stop here and do anything. And with this, the poor guy dies. Leaving his body there, Aurora and Jim, went ahead to fix the problems of the ship. But then suddenly there was such a problem that everything around them and the two of them flew in the air. There was such a problem in the robot that it was harming itself. Seeing this, Aurora quickly goes to it, and closes its system as soon. After that, the two of them went ahead again, and started changing all the parts of the spaceship. After doing this, they came out of the power supply room. As soon as they opened the door, there was a big hole inside. Towards which the two of them start pulling. But they control themselves and close the hole. After taking care of themselves, they saw that there are many more holes like that in the ship. And now when they came close to the main power supply system, they found out that the whole system of electricity has been damaged. That's why they quickly start changing all the parts. But due to the damage, the heat starts gathering in the spaceship. To get it out, they pull the lever. But the gate does not open. And now if the heat is not taken out soon, there will be an explosion here. Seeing this, Jim now came out in his suit. And he starts going to the side, 
from where the heat had to be taken out. The temperature inside the ship had increased a lot. Everything gets hot fast. At that place, Jim pulls the lever from outside, due to which the door opened. But as soon as he left the lever, the door closed again. Seeing this, Jim understood that if the door has to be kept open, then the lever has to be held. But there was a problem. When the heat will come out of this way, it will also pass through Jim. So in this way, his life could also go. But he still takes the risk and pulls the lever, due to which the door opened. After doing this, he tells Aurora to pull the lever quickly, so that the heat can come out. But she refuses to do this, because she did not want anything to happen to Jim, and because the temperature of the spaceship was gradually increasing, so even without wanting, Aurora has to pull the lever. In this way, all the heat starts coming out while touching Jim. But then Jim slipped his foot. He started going down so hard that the safety wire attached to his body breaks. Now the ship was fine, but Jim was still in space. There was a hole in his suit, and now he was getting away from the spaceship. Now to save him, Aurora also wears a suit and comes out. Although she saw Jim, he was far away from her, but still, Aurora tries to reach him. The two also held each other's hand, but because of the slip of the hand, they got separated again. Seeing this, Aurora started crying, because she felt like Jim had gone. But then she sees the wire that was attached to Jim. She quickly holds this wire and turns it towards her after which she brought him in the spaceship. Now Jim's suit was burnt. Because of staying in space for a long time, his condition also deteriorates. Seeing this, Aurora got very scared. She takes off his suit and puts it in the medical machine. She orders the machine to do all its functions at the same time on Jim. As soon as this happens, the machine starts treating Jim at the same time. But there is no change in his condition. But fortunately, in a short while, Jim's eyes open. Seeing this, Aurora becomes very happy. As soon as Jim's condition gets better, they both fix the whole spaceship. After which they respectfully put the head's corpse in clothes, and put a badge on it. And he is left in the spaceship. Now Jim gets another sleeping chamber which was absolutely fine. In that, one of the two could go to sleep. That's why he tells Aurora to go back and lie down. Then wake up after 90 years. Where when your eyes open, that other planet will be in front of you. But Aurora forbids him to do so. No, I will not leave you alone. We will live together. Whatever the outcome will be, I am ready for it. They spend a few more years here. Where one day, Jim gives that ring to Aurora, which she wears and becomes very happy. And now after this, we see the time after 90 years. Where that spaceship had finally reached that planet. That is, to its destination. As soon as this happens, all the members wake up from sleep. But when they started getting off the spaceship, they saw that there were plants grown in the whole spaceship which Aurora and Jim had grown. But because so many years had passed, they had died. But they also did a lot of good deeds that fixed the spaceship. Only then these people could reach their destination. And with this, the story ends here.